Hi, my name's Jeff Herman, and I'd like to talk to you about pulse arc welding. This is Goethe. She's a, a lovely piece of equipment made in Germany by Lampert. Uh, this, is the, this particular model is the Puck 5. And what I like about pulse arc welding is that whatever piece you're working on, you, if you have a split or you have to do a repair, you can use the exact same alloy as the piece itself. Uh, what I also like about this over uh, laser welders is that I can work on a very, very large piece. Uh, laser welders tend to have compartments that are uh, smaller and primarily jewelry size. And so if I want to remove the engraving, which I'm sometimes asked to do from even a piece this size, a large tray, what I can do is use my articulating arm and extend it all the way. and I'll be able to weld right out here, looking through the microscope. So I could never fit this in a laser welding cabinet. What's nice about this articulating arm is it moves 360 degrees. It's very easy to move. It's relatively light. That's why I want to adjust this so I'm not leaning over. Uh, so what I'm going to be welding is this powder jar cover and uh, over the years it's been polished so many times and the metal is so thin that you'll, you can see that a couple of holes have developed and I'm going to be filling in those holes with sterling. Something else uh, to note with uh, when welding with uh, a pulse arc welder, I've got argon gas being pumped through this handpiece and it's providing a protective environment so I uh, so I don't require any type of flux. And since the welding is so localized, I don't have to worry about any of the patina, the low-lying patina, even uh, being removed uh, from the surface because this, since this is an antique, I'll want to maintain that, that patina. But I'm going to weld this from the inside. This is called the speed wire. And it's a, a little gizmo that allows the feeding of this wire through uh, a stainless steel tube uh, and to be very, very steady and as opposed to using a big coil of wire which may be f flopping around while you're using it. So th this is a really, really nice invention. Again, it's called the speed wire. So I've located one of the holes and I'm going to turn on my dust collector, essentially fume extractor in this case because since I'm going to be melting metal, I want any of those metal fumes to be sucked into this uh, inlet. I'm going to program this for silver. It has various settings for gold, uh, platinum, palladium, and so on. And I'm going to choose the welding wire setting. I'll just click that and it automatically sets itself. Uh, now it's just a basic setting on the power and the milliseconds, but since this is a very thin piece, I'm going to dial, dial the uh, power back quite a bit and the milliseconds back as well, just so I don't end up uh, burning a hole through this piece. And I've got a nice sharp electrode, so it should give me a very, very nice weld. It's a rather lengthy process because I'm using 10 thousandths wire. So now the electrode is losing a bit of its sharpness, so I'm uh, increasing the power just a little bit. So now I'm done. Hold this back up to the light. Make sure they're fully closed. 
and there's no light coming through. So the, the holes have been uh, welded. Uh, there is a little bit of finishing that's going to have to be done after this, but I just wanted to give you an example of what pulse arc welding can do. And you'll see that the condition of the metal is the same. There's no fire stain on this piece. And uh, even though I did the welding from the inside, I'll do some smoothing on the outside uh, where those holes were and uh, just give it a quick buff and it'll be done.